Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. This is another Nashville thrift haul, and I am very excited about this haul. Quantity-wise, it's not a lot, but the quality quality of these items is very, very good. Uh, if you saw from the thumbnail, I did find the number one brand. I'll just say number one shoe brand on my bubble list. I do have a story about these. I will save these for last, but uh, I'm not going to make you wait any longer. So this first stop is from the Goodwill in franklin tennessee and um i liked it but i also didn't like it but on a new rack i found um this lululemon size medium which usually means men's but this one is a woman's and it's like a almost like a funnel neck dolman sleeve sweatshirt i do have all of this stuff listed on poshwork and ebay which it is below they did not um has also like the metal logo they do not mark up the clothing brands uh, i haven't seen any like clothing brands marked up specifically in nashville like where the, they were like oh like well i have seen shoes marked up i did pay up for a pair of shoes and they have seen some new tag marked up only at franklin but i'm sure there are other stores there's so many of them here that i won't be able to go to the mall but I was just in Franklin because a friend needed to run an errand there and he asked if I wanted to go with and I said yes and he was nice enough to let me go to a Goodwill. So that was exciting. Okay, I'm going to save those. And then uh, after a while, I was just... So uh, I got this J. Crew dress. This is a new J. Crew label, size 6, new tags. There's some other J. Crew like newer styles that I really liked, but I don't know. I just didn't grab them. But this is a more of a spring dress but it's a blue like almost like shift style linen blend dress i listed that one for fifty dollars i just like the color it was new tag and i was like okay as soon as i got there i just say i need to start with these i won't say these for last but uh i found i went to the shoe bin and i actually found this singular veja like there was a shoe bin that was already out it probably had been out there for i'd say like 10 or 15 minutes because there was nobody around it and literally every time there's a shoe bin people flock to it like it's like bird and bird seed i'm not even kidding i wish i need to take a video sometime but I like i don't know how i don't think recording people is not the best thing to do but i mean it's basically like if you've seen like the shoe bin at the good old outlet that's just like what it's like so uh, I found this singular beha and I was like, okay, like I was so excited. I called my friends over. I was like, I had two friends with me and I was like, hey, can you guys help me find this beha? It was in, there was like a few bins to like look through. So I'm going through the bins and just like not seeing it. And I'm like, okay, like it, it'll be in the next one. Fine. Like it'll be in the next one, like whatever. And it was, I have already photographed and listed these and they've already sold, but they were $8.99. But I have to, I had a peel that sticker off to photograph them but uh now i like don't need it anymore so and one part important part i'll just leave it in because this is a shoe i found because it had the price tag in it and so i was like hmm okay 8.99 these vejas i already cleaned these up but they were a bit dirty um there were some scuffs i could not get out like this like mark there i could not get out i'm not sure if it's paint or what it is but i couldn't get that and they just have some overall just like you know, it's not a use, but they're in still very nice condition. Still have such su a good amount of life left in, in them. I couldn't find this other shoe in any of the bins. I asked some other people that were, like, the other shoe. Like, one lady was asking me, like, oh, do you think, what do you think of these shoes for my grandson? I was like, oh, I like them. Like, those are fine. Like, you know, stuff like that. And she was, and I, she was looking for the shoe. I had other people, like, looking for the shoe. And then I was like, okay, let me just try the regular shoe section. I started to look through the regular section. And my, um, I'm, like, looking there for a little bit. And then one of my, uh, one of the friends that drove me taps me and she's like, that other lady has the Veja. So I'm like, okay, hmm. I was like, okay, bummer. But I, you know, you guys know my last Veja story. Here, a new shoe cart rolled out and somebody got a pair of Vejas in On Clouds before me. And I was sad about that. And I was like, I'm not letting another Veja, like, I'm not, absolutely not. Like, I'm not about to lose another pair of Vejas. Like, the number one brand, shoe brand on my bowl list, which I, you're into reselling, is be on the lookout for. And I don't know, it's just almost like a scavenger hunt list to me where after I find something, I have like a written list that I actually didn't bring to school, but I have at home. And after I find a brand, I cross it off. And I was like, I have one Beha in my hand. I'm not leaving without this other Beha. So I 
my and then after a while i'm like oh i'm gonna try to like outweigh this lady see if like she leaves and they're like okay like that's fine and after like i would say 30 or maybe 20 minutes inside of the store they like to go quicker than i do they're like hey keegan like are you like ready to leave and stuff and i was like all right how about um it's like franklin was like depending on the time of the day it's either like 30 minutes or like 15 it's really interesting the traffic here in nashville but i was like okay i will pay you guys gas money or whatever can somebody like leave and then come back to get me and one of them said sure so and he's like just text me when you want me to come back and i was like okay so i have this veja i'm trying to wait this out this other lady and i'm you know just gonna shop around in the store and see what i find so it wasn't like terrible but i don't know i just had my mind mind preoccupied so I'm on my way to this um, new rack, okay? Now, I don't really know. It's my first time in the store. I don't really know where they're trying to... Like, if you, like, ask me to go to my, like, Goodwill, my hometown Goodwill, I know where they're going to put the racks. I know where, like, the path they take from the outside to put the racks on the floor. Like, I know how that works. I don't know how it works at any of these stores here because, I mean, I know how some of them work, but not all of them. So, especially here at this Franklin one, it was my first time. So I was like, okay, I don't know where... So I was following the worker, and there was a few other people, and there was a wife, like, husband reselling duo, which, like, are my least favorite for, I don't know, like, that's just mean to say, because not all of them are bad, but I, so I was going to the new rack, I wasn't sure where she was putting it, and I thought she stopped. I got in the Goodwill Workers way, and I, like, I straight up did, but I, but it was because there was a cart in the middle of the aisle. I wasn't sure if she was trying to take the cart, like, it was a, just like a, almost like somebody had left the cart there. It was like literally in the middle of the aisle. I wasn't sure if she was t t taking it around the cart or what, but I was kind of sitting on the edge where she was trying to put the rack and I didn't realize it for a little bit. And after I realized it, I started to move. And one of the little, the wife of like the reseller lady husband do it, like literally screamed at me. She's like, get out of her way. Like she's trying to do, do her job. Like, no, but like she like screamed so loud. People literally turned around and then She's like, geez, I can't believe some people. Which, like, I was, was I in her way? Absolutely. But I was literally on the process of getting out of the way because I realized, like, oh, I am in your way. And, yeah. Okay. So then I took a deep breath and I started to look through the rack. She comes up right next to me, pushes the clothes so I can't look at them. And then I'm like, okay. So then I grabbed. They're, like, also, like, a foot joy. Like, they probably tweak out. Like, they probably, like, flip out. They probably get so excited over, like, a Ralph Lauren, like, men's button-up shirt in a size, like, 3X long or something. Like, that type of thing. And, like, they're, like, foot joy. So, like, think that type of thing. Like, they're, like, wow, this Ralph Lauren has a crazy pattern. Like, it'll suffer, like, $20 and whatever. And they probably, like, are, like, sad if something has an 88% sell-through rate instead of 100 whatever. So, I'm sorry. I need to calm down a bit. But I, I just cannot believe that. I was, like, okay, that is... Okay, you can call me rude for getting the good ones work away, but I did not do it intentionally. But she intentionally pushed the rack so I couldn't look through it. So I took a deep breath. There was two foot joy shorts that I grabbed off the new rack. Just in spite, I didn't want them, but I just, I know it wasn't really the right thing for me to do, but I grabbed them and I knew they would like those and then whatever. So I took a deep breath. I just left the new rack after I grabbed that. I was like, okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, take a deep breath. Again, it was in the men's section. I'm not sure if they did much women's, but they spent most of the time in the men's section. And then I think they saw me looking through. I think they knew I was a reseller, but... Um, so, one of the things was... So, I was wearing, like, my Lululemon. And I was... You know, I like that brand for myself. And I think they recognized that. And they almost felt some pressure from me. Because I think that some of that's what they were looking for, too. Because, like, the husband was wearing Lululemon, and I don't, I don't, I don't think the lady was. You no, know, I'm, that's gonna make me rethink, like, what I wear to, like, Goodwill now, which sounds strange, but I've never had an issue with people. I think the lady just felt, like, pressured by me, honestly, for what I was wearing, because I think she saw me as, like, actual, like, competition, and I don't think she expected that, and whatever. So, I took a deep breath, I walked away, I came back later to that same rack, um, and I found this TNA cozy fleece boyfriend fit size medium, like half or quarter zip oversized sweatshirt in black that will go to my sister. I know she'll want that one. I didn't even show her that cause I know she'll like that. So then I was like, okay. Um, yeah, they were, the reseller couple wasn't in there for that long. 
but another new came, rack came out, and I just decided not to go to it. I saw them look through it. I don't really think they picked up anything. There's some they picked up, Googled, and put back. Well, they missed this, and maybe they just, whatever. But this is my first time having this brand. This is Mainline Alexander McQueen, made in Italy. So the tag is coming off on one side, but it is a, like a fit and flare long sleeve, like dress. This does have a little bit of staining on the front here. You can even see it on camera. You can kind of see it like those little orange spots. So I, I used to be worse. I hand washed this in the sink. It just was not working. Like this fabric, when it gets wet, it gets so heavy. Well, first of all, it's dry clean only, like first of all. Um, but I knew this, I saw the stains in the store, but I also just wanted to take the risk. So I started to, um, hand wash it and it got heavy. And then, so I moved to like literally this shower here and I was hand washing it. I had Dawn dish soap, scrubbing it away. I kept rinsing it and, and I was that, I should see the stains coming out that well. So then I just took it. I got, had my laundry basket. I put it in the laundry basket, gathered some other like dark clothes and then I put detergent on it at right on the stains and I washed it and they lightened up a bit. So that's nice. So this is 72% silk and 20% wool, dry clean only, but size medium. Should this should this be dry clean only? Absolutely, but I did not. But the texture of the wool feels the same. I did not dry this. I'm not that dumb because if you dry wool, it will shrink. So I, yeah. So I'm going to wash this actually again in the washing machine, which, um... I am okay so then they left and I just want to say Veja Lady okay so then I just felt I don't know I was feeling very defeated uh not because I was not finding anything good just because I I don't know I just had a bad like experience with other shopper and you know that's just never good and I felt bad because I got in the worker's way so I went over the people had left they were like and they're like I said for 30 minutes and they left and I was like okay like, I'm like, okay. So I went over and I go to the worker and I just was like, oh, hey, like, I just want to apologize for getting in your way earlier. Like, I was confused, like, with the rack. Well, she didn't speak English, so she got her translator app and I was like, oh, here we go. So then I, I'm like, I was hoping the translation would be right. Like, I know some Spanish. I did four years of Spanish in high school, but I'm nowhere near fluent. And I, so I just spoke to the translator app and, you know, it translated and she's like, oh, it's okay. Like, no worries. Like, it's fine. So that just made me feel good because I didn't get in her way. Or she, I, I, I did get in her way, but she wasn't like, you know, one of those people that was like, she was very nice about it. And I did not want to apologize in front of those people to give them the satisfaction of like me apologizing to her. So anyways, so they left and Veja Lady, I could not tell if she was a reseller. She was wearing like Lululemon and Hoka's and she like new brands. But she went out to the new rack and I just like let her have it again. I just didn't really want to touch the new racks this time. She gets off the rack and the first thing I saw, see are these Wilfred size six. These are the Melina, I think, faux leather, like straight leg pant. And these don't do that well for me, honestly, but I mean, they're not, they're not like terrible. So they're like a maybe $40 sale and you know, they won't, aren't marked up or anything. They're like six or $7. So I'm like, okay. And I'm like, I think my sister like those. I sent, her, I sent her these. She wanted to try them on. I got them to resell. And I was like, oh, I feel like, you know, a reseller would have picked those up. I I go a few things down and I see these a Goldie jeans, size 27. And they are not just any Goldie jeans. They are the crisscross upsize straight leg jeans. I was so excited. I This is my third time finding a Goldie at Goodwill. And I've never found it in my area. My sister has found it in my area one time, and it was a blue pair of the Goldie crisscross jeans. And the times I found it, I found one pair two years ago, and I think that's the oldest thing I have in my inventory because I can't bring myself to donate them. And the buy sell trade store and kids have store like wouldn't take them. They are a like a cropped skinny jean with this dressing, and I got them in Chicago and they were like eight dollars like almost two years ago, and I have them priced at twenty dollars and they have no attention haven't sold. And the next pair is another a pair of a goalie skinny jeans I got in, um, I think June when I was here for my school orientation. So this is my second time finding goalie in the Nashville area, but I have seen it at Plato's closets and closed mentors and stuff, but never in my area. But, um, but this is the first time I found, actually found like gold, gold, goalie, like at Goodwill. Like these, I listed at $125. Yeah. So after this happened, I, I, 
completely forgot about the past experience I just had on the new rack. I almost felt some sort of like revival in me. I was like, wow. Like, I just felt so energized. I felt like calm. I was like, I, I really like needed this. I was like, I, I was so grateful. I'm like, Good. Even if I don't get this Veja, at least this makes it worth staying. Because at um, after the thing happened, after with the other people, and I was just like, dang, I really wish I would have just, if I had left earlier, I would have avoided this entire experience. And I'm just upset with myself for like not doing so. I should have just left when they asked me to. And, and then I was like, okay, I'm glad because if I left, I would have found those or any of this. Well, I... This was the only thing, I, ha I had the Veja and I found this, cause this came out on New Rack when they were there. And um, so the Veja and that, and yeah. And then at the regular section I found, I saw these three lines and these are just men's blue lemon joggers. So I'm not sure, the problem is, here's a logo, grand gray, very tiny, but I know how to feel and spot blue lemon. And if you don't know for sure, you can check the drawstrings. These are a size small, which I like never find blue lemon in my size. And I don't know if I'm gonna, I want to keep these, but I don't know if realistically if they're gonna work because the NC might be a little bit long for me because I'm pretty short. So I'm gonna keep them for now and we'll just see, but this isn't something that is gonna like make a huge difference. Like if it was something, I mean, these are like kind of like a year round jogger, more of like a wintry jogger, but it's not something that's gonna make like a huge difference come six months from now it's like the value is going to depreciate by 30 dollars so it's probably going to stay the same for about six months so it's not gonna matter if i keep them or not so then i'm like okay well i see her she's in the store the still in the store so i'm like maybe maybe she dropped off the shoe i'm gonna go back to the shoe section i think there was another shoe reseller there and i think she just started to put back some shoes on clouds so these were not there when i originally looked at the shoe section um and i did i know they did not have any shoe bins come out these were $19.99, so $20, and uh, I think she put these back for a couple of reasons. These are in excellent condition. I mean, I listed these as excellent condition, and um, because they are, they did write on Sharpie at the bottom, like, and I try to scrub it off a little bit, but you, I don't think you can tell it says 19 red, but uh, I, don't know, I just left it and I listed them as is, but I listed them as excellent condition. And these are men's size 14. So I was like, $20, like, that's a bummer. Um, and how about men's size 14? But these are in such excellent condition. I could not bring myself to leave them. And I was like, well, I'm already there and stuff. When I'm at checkout, I realize that these are not the original on cloud insoles. And I just think that makes everything a harder sell. But I should already scan them. And I was just like, whatever, I'm just going to get them. But I walked back. Uh, when my friend got me, I went in the car and he's like, wow, you found on clouds. And I was like, yeah, I don't know if I should have got them, but I listed them at $80. And the next day I got a $65 offer and I took that, not a huge flip. I, so my earnings are what, $52, but I almost didn't get them. You know, I paid $20 to sell something or to make a $52 pro or well, technically a 52 minus like a $32 profit in under a day. Like that is completely fine with me. So a size 14 concerned me and the missing, like the replacement insoles concerned me, but these were such a quick flip and I'm glad I got them because those paid for the entire haul. And then Rothy's. I was so excited because I've, this is my second time finding Rothy's, my first time finding the, I have sold these before because I, my mom found these at a garage sale um, earlier, like this summer. And the shoe reseller put these back. These were $7.99. And I was concerned because they did not have writing on the bottom of these. So, and all of their other shoes did. So I, I was hoping they'd sell them to me. I don't know. But the, uh, I don't know why she left these behind. They are authentic, made in China, everything like that. But I sold these in a size 10 for $55. I listed these ones at $65. And they have received a bit of attention. But they are a smaller size at a 6.5, which traditionally fits a size... Five and a half to six, depending on how wide your foot is. If you are a size five and a half and have a wide foot, they said Rothy says to size up a whole um, size in the flats. But um, otherwise, they suggest sizing up half size. But I was so excited. These were, again, $8. And I, I don't know why she left those. I know some people in the reselling community don't pick up Rothy's anymore. I've sold, I think five in the past month and one of them sold for a hundred, but it was a pair of like 
really nice boots and I, another pair sold for 85 but they were really trendy style otherwise they've been going around 50 dollars but eight dollars and 50 dollars is fine by me so my friend calls me i found i found those literally three minutes later he calls me and he's like hey like she also put back a pair of Stuart Wiseman platform Chelsea boots and they were a great Stuart Wiseman style I do not get excited from that brand and I have like never found like a good Stuart Wiseman style unless it was at the bicycle trade store they then priced at $35 and I don't think they I don't know the, a whole bunch of their boots were priced at like $35 and a whole bunch of their sneakers even if they weren't good brands were priced at 20 so I'm not sure if they actually like knew the brand of on cloud but or like knew the brand of Stuart Wiseman because there was some like faux leather cowboy boots priced at $35 I was like Okay, I did not get those, but comps were around $85 for those, but I was not, and they had, they were white, and they had some scuffs, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna leave those behind, but they probably, they would have been a good flip for, I would have paid $15 for those. So, rolls around, I realize I'm gonna have to go up to this lady and ask her, like, you know, she was there, and she i don't know i don't know how what she was doing in the store she like was sitting on the couch just like sitting there and then she was like looking at sections she had already looked through which i mean i do sometimes but not usually she kept going back to the dressing room but then she kept trying the same thing on i, I think she was just stalling time i'm not sure if she was waiting on somebody to pick her up or if she knew i had the other shoe I go up to her and i'm like hi like i've been looking for this shoe I knew she had the shoe, but I was like, hi, I've been looking for this shoe, like, the entire time I've been here. Like, do you, like, know where the, um, other shoe is? And she's like, I'm like, oh, I'm like, do you have the other shoe? She's like, yeah, I have the other shoe. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I have the other shoe, too. And, you know, she was wearing a Lululemon. So I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I have this. Like, I'll be willing to trade you for the other shoe. And she's like, no, I want the other shoe. I was like, okay, like, that's fine. I want the other shoe, too. So um you know do you want to flip a coin for it or something and she's like no I want the other shoe I was like okay um <laughs> I was like okay that's fine I, you know I want the other shoe too so you know we can flip a coin or do rock paper scissors or I mean I have other things in my cart you're like I'm happy to trade I would not have traded the only thing I would not have traded in this cart is the goldie jeans everything else I would have been like sure you can have for the uh, matching veja so and she didn't look she didn't look through it, which is totally fine. Um, she was like, "No, uh, I want the other shoe." I said, "Okay, that's okay." I go, "Okay," I, I said, "Okay." I was very calm, and I was like, "Okay, that's I understand, but I want the other shoe too." So how about we flip a coin, or you know, do you have any other ideas or anything? Like she, she's like, "No, I want the shoe," and I said, "Okay, I want the shoe too." How are we going to resolve this? She looks at me and like turns her back away from me, and I was like. Wow, I, I just cannot believe it. So I was like, okay, I took a deep breath and I walked. There was a Goodwill worker that came up to me like just when I was shopping and she's like, can I help you with anything? And I was like, no, I'm fine because people might think I'm lost because I'm looking in the women's section sometimes, but I, I was fine. And I w went up to her. She was like heading toward like the back where they, you know, sort the clothes and stuff. And I was like, hey, like, um, this is a situation. I have this shoe. A lady has the other shoe. I just went up to her. Um, I asked her to like, if she wanted to flip a coin or something for the shoe. And she said, no, do you guys have any type of, type of policy or anything like that? She's like, oh, she's like, oh, I'm sorry to like hear that. Uh, let me go get my manager. And uh, I was talking to two workers. Like she, one of them like turned her back and like was listening while I was explaining this to the other lady. So they lead me to the manager. It was this very nice guy. I start talking to him. He's like, I'm like, this is a situation. I have this shoe and this lady has the other shoe i you know i'm about to leave i went up to her and i was like hey like you know you had other shoes she's like yeah i have the other shoe i was like okay i offered her for, for the coin you know just a story i told you guys she said no and he was like asking me questions he's like oh did he, she take the shoe from you i said no she didn't she must have found it in the other bin and uh, one of the other bins and uh i didn't take the shoe from her either we just ended up with one pair of shoes i was very honest about that and he said okay well, and I had the left shoe, and he's like, well, your shoe has a price tag in it, which I feel like I don't, they didn't have a, like, a policy on that or anything like that. I think it was, that stuff, type of stuff doesn't happen very often, but, um, and he's like, okay, well, which lady is it and stuff? And I was like, oh, it's lady with the glasses, you know, I'm like, well, she speaks, like, a different language, but, I mean, that, none of that matters, but I was just trying to describe the lady so they got the right one, and, um, 
and I mean, she knew, she knew what I was, like, uh, English wasn't her first language, but she knew what I was trying to, like, she spoke English, like, she knew what I was trying to say and stuff like that, so, um, and he's like, okay, uh, you know, what is she wearing, and I was like, oh, she's wearing, like, this, I can't remember anymore, but besides, like, I remember a Lululemon tank top because I tried to offer, like, her the Lululemon because I thought she, you know, wore that brand, so I was like, oh, maybe she'll like that, and she didn't, I didn't tell her it was Lululemon, though, which, whatever, and then, um, and he's like, okay, so he's like, do you mind if I see the shoe, so she knows which one I'm talking about, I was like, sure, so I hand him the shoe, he walks over to the lady, one of the workers stays with me, and is just talking with me, and the other worker goes with him, and I'm just like, kind of staring there, and I'm like, yeah, I'm so sorry for having to bring you guys into this, like, that's not fair to you guys, you know, I, sorry for, I try to like, resolve this myself, and they're like, no, we're so appreciative, like, you try to resolve it for yourself, like, it's okay, like, this is our job, everything like that, and so he goes to the lady, the lady's, like, really upset, she's, like, trying to yell at the guy, and he's, like, oh, I'm sorry if you can hear fire sirens in the background, but, um, she's trying to push her car away from him, they're having some type of conversation, two minutes later, um, he comes back, and he has both pairs of shoes in his hand, the both shoes in his hand, and he hands them to me, and he's like, those are yours now. So um, I asked him, I explained to him, he's like, I just can't believe people like that, like that she's a grown woman acting like that, that is absolutely ridiculous. And he says, I give you this shoe because you had the price tag on your shoe. And he's like, theoretically, you could have checked out with one shoe and she wouldn't have been able to buy the other one. And she also, he's like, you know, what is she gonna do with one shoe? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know if I would have paid nine dollars for this shoe out of spite or not. Um but you ask a hundred people that question, will you flip the coin for the shoe? Ninety nine people are going to say yes. So in my I think so. Uh I would have if somebody came up to me, I would have said, Okay, sure, let's flip the coin for it. But um since she decided not to do that, she had a she had a fifty fifty shot of getting the other Veja, but since she didn't decided not to do that, she didn't get the Vejas. Fine, like that's what you get, lady. Why you thought that what was gonna happen, but whatever, I get that you want the shoe and stuff, but also whatever. And she was like telling the Goodwill workers, like they were explaining the story to me. They're like, she's like, this isn't fair, stuff like that. But I tried to give her the fairest option I could. And he told her that, he's like, that kid did, or whatever. I mean, I'm 18, but you know, I don't look 18. And he's like, that kid gave you a fair option, everything like that. Do I think being a kid sometimes works to my advantage? I think it does. But sometimes people, you know, might look down on me. Like, I feel like the person that yelled at me in the store maybe, maybe looked down on me because of that. And, you know, it's fine. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm over it now because I got the goalie jeans and Vejas. And hopefully I can clean up that Alexander McQueen dress. But it was just a very um, interesting uh, experience, to say the least, and, yeah, I have never had, like, at my local Goodwills, I really haven't had any issues with people, but here, I just feel like I've had more, there's definitely, like, more aggression, and here, which is, like, fine and stuff, but it's sometimes a bit frustrating, but I'm very excited, Rothy's, Vejas, I can cross the Vejas off my list, and a good style of the Goldie jeans, I cannot be more excited, I was planning on showing you guys a little bit of stuff from um, another Goodwill, but I'll probably save that for another video because I rambled on for so long. But appreciate you guys sticking around. Um, let me know if you have any questions at all. And, uh, oh, I forgot to say that um, these are already sold. I listed these for $85. They're on the site for $185. They are a faux vegan leather, which Beha says they're, they're a type of leather, fake leather that, like, feels like real leather, which I would not pay $185 for these, but I listed them at $85. Um, they're, they're size 40, which is my friend's size, and I know she wants a pair of Behas, but I didn't show these to her, and actually I did, and when we were on FaceTime, I was like, oh, guess what I found Behas, and she didn't seem like, she wasn't like, oh my gosh, what size are those or anything, and usually she would, but I gave her a pair of Hoka's earlier this year, so I feel fine about it, but, um, they do have some signs of wear. They have a scuff on this toe that I couldn't get out or anything like that. And, you know, I have to, I got an offer for 60, I counted at 65 and that was accepted. So 
$9.65 in a day. That's great. $20 and $65. Well, not really because I have fees and stuff. That's fine. And then I have a few other things that sold that I'll get to from my other haul that I'll get to later. But I'm so excited. I'm so grateful to the good workers for being nice. And, you know, I'm grateful. I'm so thankful for my friend that was able to come back and get me because I found Rothy's, Vejas, On Clouds, a goalie jeans, and a nice J. Crew dress and Alexander Queen dress because of it. So that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.